Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Database Systems, week number three, and this is the uh, lecture video. Um, I'm sharing with you a PowerPoint uh, for this uh, lecture. There are four items I'm going to touch. I'm not going to cover all of them in uh, detail because I already mentioned them um, in the overview. But anyway, so there's uh, uh, four items. Uh, let me go over them with you. Database comparison, uh, the architecture, adventure works, and online tools. Uh, this is one of the assignments that I asked you to do already, so I'll refer to uh, the uh, Blackboard and uh, this uh, a, a link I've already mentioned to you before, so I'm not going to go over that other than, other than that it is uh, part of this week. And the more important item uh, is to talk about the database architecture. Database architecture uh, is referring to the way the database is structured and organized. Um, you know, database is not just a compilation of whatever data you want. You need to have some organization uh, in order to uh, organize your data uh, properly, to be able to retrieve them uh, efficiently, and to protect them uh, from uh, duplications, errors, uh, consistency, and uh, security, and all that stuff. So. Uh, it's probably uh, difficult to decide that up front without knowing too much about the database. Uh, and so we won't be able to talk too much about the architecture, uh, but we will start today. And by the end of the course, uh, I hope that you will have some good understanding about the, uh, the architecture. Um, I want to mention an item from uh, the MCSA textbook. Uh, so uh, briefly, uh, there are uh, there's one diagram uh, that you can look in your textbook uh, for MCSA. This kind of gives you uh, a organization of how the databases are laid out uh, in terms of the, a master database, some uh, other databases, as well as some uh, user databases, including a AdventureWorks, uh, which is a sample database that Microsoft uh, provides. In terms of a database, um, because we're using a relational database that uh, SQL Server is, uh, the database is consisting of several things, but uh, most uh, frequently we referred, we, we use the uh, tables. And the tables are uh, related to one another, and therefore that's called a relational database. But a table uh, consists of columns and, and other items on there. So I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, let's see here. Get on to you. So if you wanted to know, uh, here's a sample database called AdventureWorks. Uh, let me bring that up on the my SQL Server. So I am starting up the SQL Server Management Studio and it is uh, displaying the uh, the interface to the uh, server. So I'm just going to connect to one of the instances. And so it shows over here. And you can see if I, when I click on the databases, I have AdventureWorks 2019, uh, which is a, a database, AdventureWorks DW, which is their warehousing uh, 2019 edition. So if we click on one of these, here's the tables and uh, among other things. So if you expand the tables, you get all the tables that uh, that you can play with, right? So you can uh, let's say I'll pick one, uh, human resource employees, right-click on them. Um, you don't even have to use a SQL here. You can just click and uh, select, so select 1,000 rows. And what it does for you is uh, it writes the SQL uh, statement for you to execute that request. And uh, it returns, it shows you the tables on the left here on the Object Explorer view. Here's the uh, SQL that is used to retrieve the actual data, and here is the actual data uh, that is on this table here. So here is like just different columns uh, and different values that you can see, right? So that's what it is. But if you want to look at, you know, here are all the tables, and if you're wondering how are they related, and so that's a question about um, a uh, the database rela uh, table relationship diagram. So you can click here and 
I give you a sample, a screenshot, a portion of a screenshot here. Uh, what it, it, it'll take you here, and so this here, all these tables are part of the Adventure Works. Actually, this is a 2018. I think they're all the same in terms of the uh, at least the diagrams. But uh, let me see if I can blow it up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Let me bring it over here, um, and you can see that uh, here is a different. Uh, tables here and these arrows are showing you how they are all uh, connected and related right sorry about that um, and so we will talk more about it but I just wanted to show you if you're wondering you know uh, how are they related and and so they, they have different um, color schema here and so they're called schemas and that's the a, like a division it's maybe the sales uh, the department will have access to these tables and then maybe the uh, human resource assist uh, a, uh, department will have these tables uh, and, and so on and so forth right so uh, some of them may overlap uh, maybe a different uh, manager will have some uh, you know portions of some of those schemas but there uh, this is how uh, uh, here, here's a list of the schemas so it kind of shows you how the, the tables are re, uh, organized and related. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. So back to the PowerPoint here. And so in terms of the adventure works, uh, there are, uh, you know, as I showed you, let me bring that up here. So let's look at this adventure works here, which is a database. And these are named, there, there are some DBOs that I created. Uh, I don't know if I actually I created, but anyway so most of these tables are just simply a description like human resources uh, department an actual table name is well this is schema right and then separated by dot and this is the actual table here so um, you know these are just like regular looking uh, names but if you uh, scroll down and let's see here to a adventure works maybe I'll just kind of minimize um, you will see that these guys will have different uh, naming convention. Not only is it preceded by a database owner or DBO, but the actual name is uh, uh, starts with a dim or the dimension, rather than some schema separated by a table name or nothing like that. I mean, it has a uh, you know account, uh, but it is a dimension. So that's a little bit different, and we uh, will talk a little bit about that later. But um, I wanted to show you. Uh, those two things all right so that's what that is and uh, lastly in terms of the SQL fiddle uh, so, so these are online tools that I'd like you to be aware of and so let me do a little quick demo on one of them at least and so if you do click on the SQL fiddle.com it'll take you so it'll take you here and one of the things I like about this uh, SQL fiddle uh, is that uh, it gives you a list of platforms you can play with so you can use MySQL, you can use whatever, right? But since we're using a Microsoft SQL Server, I know we're using 2019, but for the purpose of this uh, exercise and most of the exercise that you will do, uh, it should be okay. So you can click on that and you can write whatever uh, script here to create the tables and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also, and then you can build a schema. Once you successfully build a schema, you can write uh, different types of SQL here to uh, select and do some testing, all right? But for the purpose of just seeing how this thing works, you can uh, select this uh, platform and then click on the view sample fiddle. So when you click on it, it may take a minute, uh, but it gives you a sample, uh, a, a uh, script here to create a table, right? And then uh, after you create a, t a table, which is a structure, and then you need to populate the table with some data, uh, which is a, what this is, uh, insert into uh, statement is doing, and then so you you can click on the uh, build a schema, and it should confirm that schema is ready. Well, what else would it be if the schema is not ready? Well, if some of the syntax here uh, is wrong or the logic is wrong, then it may complain and say. Uh, the schema is not uh, or error or something that you may give an error message so you want to do that 
and then you can uh, come over here on the right side and provide your you know other kinds of a SQL statement in order to either view or select or update and what have you right and then uh, you can say for in this example you're selecting two column names product name and description from a table forge rock and it, you're pulling it from forge rock because that's the only table that you actually created on the left hand side and to run this uh, statement you just click on the run SQL and then it will say executing SQL and then it will return to you whatever the output is so I just want you to kind of uh, you know be aware of that and it will be a good platform to use uh, be aware that it is not always available 24 7 because of, you know so many people in the world is using it uh, so don't wait until the last minute and find this thing not uh, available because once a quarter I think they do a system updates and it usually takes a couple of days and you don't want it to happen uh, at the worst timing for you. And for the uh, DB Fiddle, uh, if, you, if you click on this guy, and it should take you over here. And so, one of the you know similar to the SQL Fiddle, it gives you a whole bunch of platforms here, right? So you can use all those things. But we're going to be using 2019 here, so that's all good. And then here it gives you an option, but you can select AdventureWorks. It already comes with AdventureWorks. It doesn't tell you what, what year edition it is, but I think it's just a basic one, right? So you can write your SQL statement here, and then you can uh, play with it. Um, I still prefer <clears throat> the SQL Fiddle, uh, but, you know, it, it's, up, it's up to you. All right, let's go back. So in summary, I talked to you a little bit about <clears throat> what you need to know for this week. Uh, a comparison for the homework, architecture. And then um, I showed you about the, uh, the adventure works and how it should look like, um, and then some of the online tools. So this should be pretty straightforward. Um, uh, and that's it for uh, week number three. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll be happy to respond. Uh, take care. Bye.